Shabbat Yassar. Welcome to another part of our reading with the Supreme Grand Council of 24 Elders. Anuki Kex and Ray. Parnashad will be read by Katie Maat Ray. Shag and Papa out. Wukala a shag kawanda kulni. Anuki kasam un afaf papa out. Wu papa out kawan kasam un afafni. Anuki wahu ama papa out. Wu papa out kawan wahu amani. Nup kado naju ama kasan un em papa out. Wu kabub ama shakasa. Nup kado. Kawan kalal pafaf nuk ragub dakal papa ut. Talama rakamni kawan bake dakal papa ut. Anuki yaba binafusmi. Papa ut kawan anuki. Papa ut kado nuk kado. Papa ut amul nuk amul. Proclamation 1. Alikum, learn to live for, of, and by each other, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. 2. Learn to love and care for each other, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. 3. Learn to respect and trust each other, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. 4. Learn to protect and support each other, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. 5. Learn to recognize that each Nuwapu Nuwapian is you and you are each other Nuwapu Nuwapians. Six, learn that you were once a baby, then a child, then an adult, then an elder. Remember the stages of life you passed through and treat each others the way you wish to be treated Nuwapu Nuwapians. Seven, learn to accept who and what you are born and your origin on this planet as a being misplaced by other than self and kind, return to your own, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. 8. Learn to respect only those of other races who respect you for who they know you really are, the first race on this planet, the first race created, the children chosen to be born in the best and richest part of this Kawak, Taha, planet Earth, Africa, as Afafre'e, Ka'u, Africans, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. 9. Learn to be proud and honored for your noble birth. Each one teach one. Reject what is not yours. Return what is forced upon you of foreign religions, beliefs, cultures, languages, and way of living. Live and die only for your own Nuwapu, Nuwapians. Part of Rock will be read by Sabak Tat Nifru Ang. Yasar Anuki Sabaktat Nifruank. Tonight's part Tarak is entitled The Psychic and the Gates. Nine times nine equals eighty one. One Likum, my beloved Nuwapu Kharadu Nuwapian children, you are always to thank. Pa Nazaru for their protections. Two, this is the right thing to do because your way of life, Nuwap, Wu Nuwap, 
is growing worldwide more and more. Soon you will all be on F flat, F major, and F sharp in unison as families, mother, children, and father, and then all our tribe of Nuwapians. Three, and Pa, a shock, divine love, every one of you has for each other is increasing. Four, therefore, among our Marat Mir temples, we are able to say we are protected and we have perseverance and trust in all we do because we now live by faith, F-A-T-E, not faith, F-A-I-T-H, by facts, confirmations, truth, which is our way, Patarak, the way. Five, all that you have received from myself, Pamanzal Nasdar Amunnababre Akakpata or Atumre is evidence that Pa Nazaru's judgment is true, and as a result, you will be counted worthy of the hereafter. Six, Pa Nazar are your Salafu ancestors. They will deal with all who troubled you in this world and the lower realms. Seven, and you will receive relief to all your pains and sufferings, all your troubles. Eight, this is happening now inside you. Pushing outward, you feel the transformation taking place each day. Nine, and concerning the coming for you and your gathering together, 10. You are told, don't become easily deceived by those who claim they are psychics, priests, who speak with the dead. 11. Many see ghosts, spirits, specters, or ghouls. 12. Many are opened up to these forces and will speak with them. 13. You see, Nuwap U Nuwapians, there is the world you are in now and one below in vibrations, separated by only a gate, doorway, or opening. 14. For those who believe in their Bible, let me show you this. Genesis 4, 5-7. It reads very clearly if you know what to look for and understand the language. Verse 5 says, but unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wrought. Hebrew Strong's number 2734, Chara, meaning glowing, hot, to glow, to blaze, anger, jealousy, displease. From Hebrew Strong's number 2787, for Chara, glow. Kindle, be angry, to burn. So you see, he transformed in a way that could be seen. He lit up, brightened as in leprosy, and he be also became angry, mean. 15. What else does Genesis 4, 5 say? And his countenance. Hebrew Strong's number 6440 Fainin, fanim, meaning face, surface. So to look at him, you could see a change on the surface of his face. His very skin changed. 16. What else does Genesis 4 5 say? His countenance fell. Hebrew Strong's number 5303. Nafil. Nafil, meaning to fall. A tyrant, same as the fallen angels called giants, Nephilim, Nafala. 17. You see, he transformed to look like the fallen ones, the Kama'u, Pleiadians, and Nunaki, and Nakim, who were pale skin. 
18. It says right there, he transformed. You will read later, it's his mark, leprosy. 19. As Kanan U Kenan or Kakasu Caucasoids, who claim they have seen and talked with beings from Kamau Pleiades, describe th them the same way. Both males and females, very tall, white, long, blonde, or white fur, and white eyes. 20. Most they say Germanic looking, so they see their root race who grafted them from themselves. 21. Their God in whose image they are by surface or on sight. 22. So you see, this Conan Cain or Kan Kaan Kanan was transformed or he became one of them. 23. In Nephilim or Nephilim, as you read Genesis 6 4. 24. Now, to look at verse 6, it says, And the Yahweh said unto Cain, Why art thou wrought? And why is thy countenance fallen? Hebrews Strong 5307, Nafal, Nafal, meaning fall, fallen, cast down, downward. You can see it from Hebrews Strong 5303 to 5309. 25. The fallen angels who live in Nod, U Shamgal, these are the Anunnaki cherubim, Anakim, who came to earth and mixed with humans. Genesis 6 1 to 5. It's clear he transformed. 26. Now, let's read and study verse 7. If thou dost well, Hebrew strong, study 190. Yatab meaning to be good, well, from Chaldean Hebrew, Strong's number 3191, good, seem good. 27. So he could be transformed back or cleaned, as Leviticus 13 states, how to clean a leper. 28. So verse 7 of Genesis 4 goes on to say, if Cain does good, he can be transformed back to look like the seraphim, seraphim, good angelic beings. It says, shalt thou not be accepted? Hebrew Strong's number 7613, shaped, meaning leprous, scab, elevation, raise up. 29, now look, it say right there, will you, Conan Cain, not be transformed into a clean leper with scabs. 30. Now read Leviticus 13, 1 to 4. Now read verse 5 to 13. So he can be clean. Does not mean he will turn black from leprous white, but the sores, scabs, and raw flesh stops. He is just white skinned. 31. Back to Genesis 4, 7, it says, And if thou doest not well, sin, Hebrew Strong's 2403, kata, meaning offense, sacrifice, offender, sin. You see it from Hebrew Strong's number 2398 to 2409. You see sin offering. And it runs right on down to Hebrew Strong's number 2416, K, as in Te Nam, K. 32. So you see who he is talking to Hebrew Strong's 8577, Tanin, or Te Nin, K, reptilians. 33. And this sin is a person in Sumerian tablets, a female named in Akkadian Nanar, Nana, son of Enlil and Ninlil, born in Urim or Ur, 
and Haran, the moon god, or of the moon cycle father of Utu and Inanna. 34. Inanna called planet of Venus, also called Ishtar, an astral goddess worshipped at Mesopotamia as lady of war, battle, and sexuality, also called Ashtarte. You find in the Bible, Hosea 9 to 10, 9 10, 1 Chronicles 11 44, 1 Kings 11 verse 5. You see her as Ashtarot. She is called a Hebrew Strong's 430 Elohim in verse 5. 35. Also, you see, if you read 1 Kings 11 1 to 8, you see Molech also, and the Ka'anu, Canaanites, and Judges 2, 11 to 14. 30. So you see them being delivered in the hands of evil. That is opening the Bawab gate or door to the lower realms to get possessed by Dawao, Ka evil spirits or six eater forces if you allow yourself to fall 37 back to Genesis 4 7 and this is the most important part it says sin nanar light at the door 38 you will see if you look it up in the Strong's concordance its opening 39 that door is the lower realm the world of the dead spirit forces that seek your Baha soul. 40. They are below you trying to get back into this physical world by entering into you. 41. Many who claim to have powers to speak with dead people are doing just that, opening up the door. 42. When you see a Kan Kaan U Canaanite saying he or she speak to the dead it's evil spirits who tell them what they want then when they tell the people or the person that person believes and opens up by faith f-a-i-t-h to be entered and that car spirit force attaches to them 43 once they leave the medium or psychic, it, say it stays with that person and now is a part of their life to use at will. 44. It's blind faith that opens up the gate to the lower realms. 45. As in Conan Cain's case, he was being warned that if he doesn't control his emotions, he will be possessed, possessed by sin, Nanar, Nana, son of Enlil, and Anunnaki, Elohim, god of Samaria, who came down here to planet Earth. 46. What is sad is, as you read on in Genesis 4, you see he did not listen and killed his brother Abel, then had to go to Europe to live in Nod with the cursed and evil fallen angels. 47. Note, most so-called psychics call themselves Mary because of Mary's connection with an angel named Gabriel. 48. You find much of it in the Bible and Quran about these angels or fire beings coming to people. 49. They speak of spirits, good and evil, and people dealing with the dead, Genesis 6, 3, Numbers 14, 24. Another spirit with him, Numbers 27, 18. First Kings 22, to 22, 21. Second Chronicles 18, 20, Job 4, 15. Psalm 104, 4. Ecclesiastics 8, 8. They don't have power over the spirits, ghosts they speak with. Psalm 31, 17. Now look at this verse, 
1 Samuel 19, 9. The evil spirit from the Lord, they, the Israelites, Hebrews, consoled with familiar spirits. 1 Samuel 28, 7 to 13. She saw Elohim doing what? Ascending out of the Taha earth. 50. What do you see under familiar spirits? Hebrew Strongs, number 178. Ob. 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 Obia. Oba, meaning necromancer. Ventriloquist. Familiar spirit. 51. Look at the word for consulting with the dead. Obia. Oba. Or as in Yoruba. Spiritual baptism. Voodoo. 52. It's the same as having dead spirits speak through you. It is nothing to play with. Going to the psychic, palm reader, voodoo priest, Yoruba priest, Santeria priest, witchcraft, links back to Hinduism, yoga, and their rituals. 53. You have to first build your physical self-defense by being in tune with your own Salafu, ancestors or relatives. 54. You have to be vibrating on the same wavelength. It's like being on same radio station. If you move the dial, you lose the station and may hear another voice or music. 55. Or like knowing the right exact number to call someone. If you dial the wrong number, you may get anyone. 56. Now, Nuwap U Nuwapians think you hold a cell phone in your hand and you can dial the right combination of numbers and contact, make connection with another person anywhere in the world if you have also a cell phone that can receive your signal. 57. So you use the exact numbers, the right amount of numbers in the right order and they are connected to you. No codes, lines, wires, all done on frequencies, sending and receiving. 58. What is in the phone that makes it happen? 59. You have voltaic cells in which electric current is stored. 60. What is car? Spirit. Yet energy, vigor, or force. 61. So you have the exact same powers when dealing with ka, spirit, forces, taraf, ghosts, specters, wow, wawad, good, and dawaw, bad. 62. Just as a phone call can turn out good news or bad news. 63. Yet, in this case, you're the cell phone. You make the connection with the dead. 64. Who wait at the door? Who wait at the other end for you to dial the, no, the wrong number? And they pick up and can come to you on that frequency. 65. Enter you, use you, kill you, cause you to kill, drink, lie, rape, or steal. 66. Most of those who deal with psychics always hear someone has worked or put a hex on you or someone in your family. 67. And it will have to be removed by you doing this money, smoke or alcohol offerings, even to blood sacrifices. 68. Who is in need of these things to help you? What kind of spirit needs these kinds of things? 69. What do you, what do, what you do is give them your personal number to your living soul? 70. That's what you have done. 71. They have one or more of your relatives imprisoned in the underworld to get information to make you know who it is. 72. 
while your relative suffers tortured by ghouls and demons in the underworld. 73. You have to free them. 74. You have to break the spell. 75. Not some other person who is not on your wavelength. You get on their dancing and drum beats and chants in tongues, not your own. 76. You have to get on your tune, your vibration, your key, your note, and your rhyme. 77. Wunuwap is doing just that for you and all your ancestors and relatives, making the link for you to free them and they in turn help you the rest of your physical life until you join in on all. 78. It's nothing to play with. These fake religions today are all linked to the same forces you read about above, evil spirits. I will close this one with Luke 11.34. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thy eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thy eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Note, darkness is ignorance. Light is life. 79. It is as close as they can get to say you have to have only one living being, ka, spirit, ba, soul, eater, as one in unison in your being. 80. You have to control the 30 voices or more that has misled you to do things you wish you never had done. 81. Well, you have the power in Wunwa. Tawakum. I am who I am. Will be read by Nefaraka Re Shabaku. Anoki in the four car Ray Shabaku. I am who I am. One, I have been with you because I love you all. Two, I am Zedi Zechwi Zedi Pa Manzal Nazdar Amun Nabab Re Aka Pata Zedi. Three, I will soon depart from you. Four, I incarnate from time to time to renew our timeline. Five, I am here which is there now. Six, my time to depart is near, so I only wish you knew who I was to you. Seven, I will return again and again. Look for me in the wind. Look for me in the waters. Look for me in the soil. Look for me in your dreams. Eight, I will reincarnate again when needed. Nine, this is my findings. One, they look at me, yet they don't see the real me. Two, they listen to me, yet they don't hear what I am really saying. Three, they have touched me, and still they were not able to feel me. Four, they have kissed me, yet they did not love me. Five, they were born of my genes, yet they are not my child. Six, they followed me, yet not close enough. Seven, they came to me, yet they did not stay. Eight, they smiled with me, yet they did not mean it. And nine, they greeted me yet, and still never meant it. Tawakum. Tawakum. Please tune in every shadow at 8 p.m. for another Patarak and at 9 a.m., 3 p.m., and 9 p.m. for chanting 
with the Supreme Grand Council of 24 Elders. Wadu Yesar.